Hi, Phil. It's Ben back again on another one. Um, this time, it's going to be uh, about the condition of my uh, engine. That is, uh, how is the internals of the engine? You can read about the internals of the engine from the spark plugs um, greatly. To a great extent, you can understand what's going on inside the engine from the spark plug. Uh, with all the fuel, various kinds of fuel these days, and with, uh, again, even if you were to fill up from the same petrol station, uh, you will find different petrol on uh, on almost uh, in every second time you fill. So, uh, and adulterated fuel. You really, it, it's become a little difficult to get a, a complete, comprehensive understanding on what's going on inside the engine. But to some extent, um, or to a great extent, you can break things down just by reading the spark plug. One, number two, what I run is I run uh, HT cable. I run uh, low resistance cable. This is a low resistance cable. Uh, what I mean by that is whatever um, electricity, whatever uh, jolt the ignition coil uh, produces, whatever amount of current the ignition, ignition coil produces gets transferred straight to the uh, boot cap uh, or the boot, the pl uh, spark plug uh, uh, adapter, the boot, and without any losses. So it gets transferred to the spark plug better with this cable and not the stock cable. The stock cable is um, uh, higher resistance, has higher resistance. So. Yep, a low resistance cable helps. Very high quality product and uh, I installed this. I've made a video on that. I've, uh, I will attach the link of that video in, this, uh, in the description of this video. Uh, you can go and watch that, how to go about installing this on the bike. Now, coming to the spark plug. Very, very important. You have to be extremely careful when you want to play around or when you want to uh, open uh, the spark plug. You'll have to be very careful. One, Number one, the engine should be cold, nice and cold. It can be warm, it should not be hot. It should not be a hot engine when you try and uh, pull out the spark plug, it should be cold. To get a look, good look into this, peep into this hole, uh, you know, do it in a place where you have enough light, uh, peep into this hole, there should be nothing in this area. You, there, are, there are times when um, there are ball bearings and things that uh, uh, fall into uh, this pit. Um, maybe you just you have the tank off and you're working on the bike and you you just kind of you know this this particular bike has taper roller bearings but I've uh, just gotten some pictures from mechanics where uh, two or three ball bearings have gone in and uh, you know I'll just attach the picture for you to see what a ball bearing that falls in the moment you uh, pull out the plug and you've not noticed it go in and you put it back on what kind of damage that does to the piston uh, crown and uh, the uh, head um, so uh, and again, uh, any kind of grime that falls into the engine is going to cause harm. Uh, if it's very soft material, it'll get uh, vaporized in seconds, microseconds. But if it's anything hard, like a, a stone, a, um, and a small pebble, uh, even small sand uh, particles can cause harm, serious harm to the uh, uh, engine. So be very careful, be doubly, triply sure, see to it that this area is clean, super clean, and only then start removing the spark plug. Okay, so a thorough clean with a microfiber cloth and uh, blew some air into it, uh, that area. And now, time to open it. Uh, this is a spark plug adapter. Uh, came along with the uh, factory um, toolkit. So uh, you will definitely have this in your toolkit. If not, you can buy it. You can go, uh, ask for a spark plug adapter from any of these fellas, uh, spare parts outlets, and they ought to have this. This fits in comfortably. There you go. And then, um, yeah, something like this. This is an extension. You you will get all sorts of things on your um, in a toolkit, so you will definitely find something which goes in. And uh, yeah, so I have to work on the position a bit. Yep, there you go. So that's all there is to it. So it's been about um, five, ten thousand kilometers since I. Uh, check the condition of my spark plug. So uh, I'm really curious to see how the engine has been uh, performing. So uh, we'll just see. Yeah. Another indication uh, of uh, a nice uh, clean spark plug is uh, it'll come out pretty easily. It'll not be stuck to the walls that would mean that you haven't uh, opened and uh, checked your spark plug in a really long time or um, there's rust formation there. 
uh, oil and crud and grime and all sorts of nasty things. So if the spark plug comes out pretty easily, then you know for a fact that uh, uh, your internals of the engine is nice and clean. We'll just see in a bit. Like I said, you have to be very, very careful when you pull this out. You do not want any nonsense to go into the engine. This looks like a pretty, pretty neat plug. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it. And this camera will definitely not be able to focus in. I will attach some pictures of this for you guys to see, but uh, this looks pretty neat. Nothing to worry about, no major concerns. And uh, yeah, so rich and not so rich. I mean, rich to a point where uh, I can rev the throttle, I can, I can twist the throttle really um, quickly. I don't have to worry about things, but uh, yeah. A nice, neat, uh, gray tan on the porcelain and uh, the ground electrode seems to have uh, a, the discoloration happen from somewhere around the uh, the place where it's, it bends. So that would simply mean that it's it's exactly where it's supposed to be. Um, the discoloration, if it uh, is right at the bend, then you know that you know this is a, a decent mixture. And it's a nice gray tan on the uh, porcelain and the and this what you see here is the ring, this is the base ring or uh, yeah I don't want, don't remember what to call this but it's uh, again a clear indication of running rich it's not too dark not too sooty at the same time uh, not clean as a whistle gray is a bit of a um, fine. Um, um, what can I call it? This machine is burning oil and you see these microscopic um, remnants, white uh, bits sticking uh, to the porcelain and that is definitely an indication of this machine burning oil but uh, nothing to worry, it's definitely going to go away with time and uh, I mean yeah that's all there is that to it. It's been doing that for ages now, so about 25,000 kilometers I've been seeing this and so don't really have a problem. And that little bit of oil that, it, that the engine consumes, it's totally normal. And uh, what else? Yeah, so that's about it. Nothing, nothing really strange, nothing uh, uh, for me to worry about. Once this is hand tight, There you go, so that's hand tight. I can't tighten it any further. All you need to do is just a quarter of a turn, not even a quarter, a one eighth would do, a one eighth and uh, just a bit of double checking. That's about it. Back with the plug cap and there you go. Check if all's well. All's good. Well, that should be it. If this video helped, let it help. So this is Ben signing out for now. Ciao.